The crew of the Roberts did prove how valuable damage control training really is. And during this year's Pacific Exercise 89, the question of how well a ship can sustain and survive damage in battle was tested with a new concept designed to enhance shipboard damage control. Petty Officer Kathy Hines has more. In the wake of the USS Stark and Samuel B. Roberts incidents, the Navy decided to create impartial battle damage assessment teams, or BDATs. A BDAT would go on board a ship having damage and provide the battle group commander an objective report on whether that ship could still function as part of the battle force. The PAC-X-89 BDAT was the first to perform strictly the function of battle assessment as a designated team under battle-like conditions. Using hovercraft, helicopters, Zodiac boats, and even a carrier catapult launch jumping from ship to ship in a two-week period, BDAT-89 made its way from Oakland, California to ADAC, Alaska. Initially, the BDAT made their determinations to the commanding officer and what the real needs and potential for survivability that ship actually had. If the scenario called for an enemy weapon hit at a predetermined frame, ShipDamp predicts the potential for fire and flooding and the number of dead and injured as if the ship had been manned at general quarters. In PAC-X-89, we were able to take the ship's uh, OPREP-3 report of damage and essentially simulate that damage on the computer before we sent the battle damage assistance team uh, to the ship. Once on the ship, the group determined which systems and vital components were in fact damaged. They also traced cables and wires leading from the impact area, often finding hidden damage not visible during the initial ship's assessment. Their findings would help him determine whether that damaged ship could still fight as part of his battle force. We set out to do an initial battle damage assessment for the battle group commander and for the commanding officer of the ship, but ended up doing medical assessments, uh, medevac recommendations, uh, food service recommendations uh, to recover from battle damage. The Center for Naval Analysis made a thorough study of what the BDAT team did. They've determined so far that there exists a strong need for an expeditionary repair group to repair combat systems at forward sites. CNA will report their findings on the future of the battle damage assistance team concept to fleet commanders. Petty Officer Kathy Hines on board USS Constellation.